As the CEO stated, uh, we always want to first acknowledge our very dedicated water and sewer staff who are around the clock 24-7 keeping an eye on this system so that when something like this does occur, they mobilize quickly. So as the CEO said, during the night, we had a pipe break uh, near Buford Highway here. It's a 48-inch ductile iron pipe, one of our larger sized water mains. The treatment plant began to notice that there was something wrong during the night because the demand on their system, their high service uh, pumps, was growing and growing. So during the night they notified our acting watershed director, Reggie Wells, that there was some kind of a problem. And then as soon as someone saw we've got large amount of water here uh, on Buford Highway, they knew the location of the problem. So they, everyone mobilized uh, the treatment plant monitoring the pressures, the staff in the field uh, isolating where the break occurred, and then what then takes a period of time is the staff in the field have to drop back and exercise valves so that they can isolate uh, the break. They got to get the water shut off, and when it's large diameter, that takes some time. So by around 9 a.m., they had it isolated. That way they could get in and see what's it going to take to fix this pipe. And so there now you've got crews in the field uh, ordering the materials and getting ready to replace a section of this pipe. And then the staff back at the water treatment plant in Dunwoody are now slowly getting all the pumps back up and building the re rebuilding the pressure back in the system. So they'll monitor that throughout the day and throughout the system. They will keep uh, Reggie and our staff notified as to when pressure has built again. And then we also have uh, uh, very competent people in the laboratory who man uh, monitor water quality, and they monitor samples from the system. Uh, we are under a boil water advisory uh, per federal and state rules, and so we're advising all of our customers, of course, that because pressure dropped uh, before, before drinking the water, they should boil it just to, to avoid any risk that a contaminant might have gotten into their particular line to their business or house while pressure was low. So again, all of our staff, we really appreciate the effort both at the treatment plant, in the distribution system, and with the laboratory staff that uh, know when an incident like this occurs, they mobilize and try to get the system back to normal as soon as they possibly can. Thank you, sir.